One of the common types of cancer that you guys both talk about in the Dog Cancer Survival Guide is mast cell tumors. I want to first start off with uh, you, Dr. Dressler. What uh, might a uh, dog guardian see if their dog has been diagnosed with mast cell? That's a tough question. The reason why it's a tough question is because mast cell tumors are characterized by having a variable appearance. That means that they can look very, very different. And as a consequence of this, they can be called the great impersonators or sometimes the great imitators. They can look very, very different. Now, classically, when you think of a mast cell tumor as a clinician, you think of a red raised inflamed growth. And that's probably the most common presentation, meaning that's probably the most common way that it shows up on a dog in the most common location for mast cell tumors of the skin. However, mast cell tumors can can occur anywhere in the body and they can look like anything. One of the hallmarks of mast cell tumors though are that they secrete uh, certain chemicals which create inflammation uh, and many times that will account for the redness and the swelling and sometimes the discomfort uh, that you can see around a mast cell tumor and some of the internal organ signs as well. Dr. Ettinger, your thoughts on mast cell tumors? Uh, mast cell tumors is a very complicated cancer in that the outcome in one dog will be very variable from another dog. Um, one of the most important tools that the oncologist or a veterinarian will use and to try to predict is the grade which is determined by the biopsy once the tumor is removed. Um, and there are classically three grades um, and these can help the um, clinician try to predict how it's going to be. But some dogs with a, a mast cell tumor are going to be cured with a relatively simple surgery and some dogs may need surgery, radiation, and or chemotherapy from the conventional toolbox. Um, so it's a really variable tumor and really one that you're going to want to get a specialist involved to you know, help you navigate through the um, complicated world of mast cell tumors in dogs. Dr. Dressler, what are your thoughts in terms of treatment options for mast cell? Well, one of the most important uh, is always surgery. Uh, we Mast cell tumors, at least ones that have not yet spread, need to be removed with wide excision. Uh, and then there's a variety of different chemotherapy tools uh, that can be used for mast cell tumors uh, if it's appropriate, when it's appropriate. And then, of course, don't forget we have diet, supplements, uh, life quality enrichment, uh, brain chemistry modification, and all of the different quote-unquote alternative pieces that we can use judiciously, intelligently, uh, so that we can have maximum good quality life for dogs with mast cell tumors. There's a tremendous amount of information on mast cell tumors in the Dog Cancer Survival Guide from all approaches using a full, a full spectrum approach. And uh, I want to thank you both for joining us today, Dr. Ettinger in New York and Dr. Dressler in Hawaii. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.